For over six centuries, the night called Sir Percival sat with us in Brotherhood. He saw entire kingdoms perish, and others equally transitory take their place. He saw the rise of the half-breeds, and was relentless in their pursuit. To all these things he bore witness, because he was blessed by this. The Grail. The black water that courses through our veins. The bond that unites this order. The elixir which heals all wounds and extends the life of natural men. Yet, it cannot ensure immortality. Now, Sebastian Mallory, once Sir Percival is dead. There is a tradition of bestowing a knighthood in our order, only on the occasion of the death of him who bears that honor and burden. You, Marie Joseph Paul Yves Rock, Gilbert du Motier, Marquis de Lafayette, swear to uphold the most noble precepts of our order. Do you pledge to give your life in service to our righteous cause? With all my heart and soul. Guards! Remove Sebastian Mallory's body from the council chamber and take him to the crypt. This council is now called to order. Let the terrible tragedy which has befallen us serve as a warning to those who would defy the mandates of this office. The late Sebastian Mallory did not perish in the fight against the Harpreets. No. He died a victim of his own heedless enterprise and the negligence of those sworn to uphold the highest standards of duty and sacrifice. And to what purpose? Lord Chancellor, I must... Public buildings destroyed. Innocent citizens placed at risk. Incalculable damage done to United India Company property. It is only by the mercy of Providence that an even greater disaster was avoided. All this while not a single rebel was taken into custody. On the contrary, by their rogue actions, the knights in question may have done the enemy a great service. 
The Lord Chancellor perhaps speaks too harshly. He would do well to remember that Sir Percival's force did uncover evidence of a rebel Circumstantial effort against the- Circumstantial evidence! Mere supposition, all of which resulted in a deplorable calamity. I will hear no more of the matter. With respect, Lord Chancellor. Sit down, Sir Galahad! With respect! I, too, have lost a friend. More than a friend. A brother. You do great wrong to sully his name in such a manner. You dance on the very edge of insubordination, Sir Knight. I am apprehensive of my responsibility in this affair. Yet if the same circumstances should present themselves, I would do exactly as I have done. As Mallory wished. My lords! Sirs! The rebels have ambushed Lord Hastings' carriage. He and his escort are trapped on the Westminster Bridge. All knights do arms! Protect Lord Hastings! Let's eliminate these godless rebels once and for all! Sir Galahad, this matter is not yet over. Someone will yet answer for Sebastian Mallory's death! Of that you can be sure. Arm yourselves, and take defensive positions on the bridge. Galahad, your command. Let's go. Sir Galahad! The carriage carrying Lord Hastings was hit in the middle of the bridge. We're not sure if anyone's alive. Lucan, Egrain, Percival, with me. Hastings may still be alive. You must reach him. Shotgun has spotted! We need to get Hastings out. I'll cover you. Lucan, Egrain, on my mark. Pull him out when I lift the carriage. Understood. Ready? Now! We have him! Everyone fall back to the palace! To finish what we started. This is no time for vengeance. Come to your senses. Gray, stop! <laughs> Oi, you two! I need one over here, the other on the right. Come on, hurry! Sentinel three, I need air support. We are approaching your position, Sir Galahad. Acknowledge. Right up ahead! Take him out! Damn it! Sir Galahad, the rebels are in retreat. The royal army is en route. They will contain the threat from here. Fuck the army. This is my fight. Sir Galahad, 
The Knight Commander has requested that you abandon him. Woman, where is she? Where is she? Where? Tell me. Tell me. White Chapel, brother. Where is the Galahad? Lady Igrain. Sir Galahad is near the east end of the bridge. Stay on him until we can get to his position. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Leonard! A drink! A drink, goddamn you! Absinthe! Are you drowning in your sorrows, or your ignorance, Knight? Neither. I was waiting for you to show up. And? I need some answers. Answers? Is that why you killed all my men? Death always follows in your path. And yours will be next if you don't give me what I need. You'll have to excuse me if your offer doesn't entice me. I don't respond well to threats. Then you have no use to me. Do your worst. So much animosity. You look like you can use some of this, Knight. The Blackwater. But how did you get Shall up? we call this a temporary truce? Apna hatare niche koro. Devi. If it keeps you at ease, you can keep your gun pointed. But I am the one you seek, not her. We have much to discuss. Let us find a more 
private setting. हमें केले छोड़ दो। हमें केले बार करेंगे। ब्लैको के काम के लिए जाओ। आपका हुकुम रानी। You seek to avenge your friend Mallory. Do not presume to speak his name. He was betrayed. You have all been betrayed. Betrayed? By whom? The men you call masters. The Order of Knights calls no one master. Not even the Queen. <laughs> You are an empire of bootlickers groveling at the feet of the mighty United India Company. Guard your tongue, woman! Your honorable cooperation spreads the very scourge you have so valiantly sworn to fight. The rantings of a fanatic! You seek the wrong enemy. We both fight the same evil. Why should I believe the word of a rebel? And an assassin? We are more alike than you think. We have nothing in common! Do not allow your friend who have died in vain! Enough! Tell me why I should not kill you! There are things worse than death, Knight. Much worse. And if it is mine you seek in your misguided quest, then so be it. My death is a worthy sacrifice. Do you deny the attempt to kill Lord Hastings? He deserves to die, along with every one of his collaborators. And you expect us to just step aside while you carry out your campaign of terror? Things are not as they seem. The company's secrets are well kept, even from the Order. What secrets? I do not have time for games! There is little I can say to sway your convictions. But there are things I can show you, to give you the explanation you need. Your answers await at the company's docks in Blackwall Yard. But we must hurry. You had better be right. For your own sake. The underground tunnels would lead us to Blackwall Yard. Be prepared to meet heavy resistance from the United India Guards. Until I say otherwise, we will not harm innocent men. None of them are innocent. All the same, you will abide by my rules if you expect me to follow you. Very well. Hanging up your colors so soon? The Order cannot be seen as having any part of this. games are you playing?
do you know of your birds? The half-breed's ancestors. An ancient race born into their unnatural state. Not turned like most others. They're all but extinct. You are wrong to speak of them in the past. They... The support structure has collapsed. Here! Such a gallant knight. <clears throat> I fought against their elk in Jahansi. The United India Company is their agent. If you are so adamant, then show me proof. We should be able to move this together. Ready when you are. Should be able to climb up from here. Good idea. There's a route across. Give me your hand. Gate from inside. Here, I'll help you. <clears throat> Hurry! A patrol is bound to pass this way sooner or later. Just a moment longer. Sniper! Cover! I'll find a way to get to the sniper! So much for keeping this friendly. Damn it, I'm in no mood to jest. You said you had proof. Where is it? Patience, Knight. We're almost there. Let's find our way out of here. Agreed. We can't stay here for long. We need to find another way. Perhaps it can be unlocked from the other side. 
On my count of three. One, two. <laughs> Look out! Lock the door! Don't let them out! Target down! I'm low on the hill! I'll provide cover! What is he doing here? Devi, it's all right. You can speak freely. Devi, go on. It is the same as the airship, Rani. The cargo is bound for the Americas and the West Indies. How many? More than twice the last shipment. They are making up for lost time. This shipment cannot reach the shores of the new continent. There's more. Security is on high alert. His name was mentioned. They are arranging a meeting. We may be in luck yet. Whose name was mentioned? One of your esteemed lords. If he's coming here for a meeting, then you shall see for yourself. How convenient for him. You imagine conspiracies when none exist. Look at the cargo night and talk to me of fantasies. I surprise you again, Knight. The famous warrior queen who took up arms against our army in India. Our generals reported you killed in Gwalio. I have always benefited from the underestimation of fools. I'll get the door. Knight. Come take a look at this. There. The shipment has been loaded. This foul cargo must never be allowed to leave here. Hurry! The exit is this way. I need you to go and guard the escape routes. Well, Rani, I should escort you. It is my duty to protect you. Devi, it's an order. Over here. We can cross through the ship. I'll man the crank. Keep an eye out while I race. 
Where's the platform? That's as far as it will go. Help me up. I'll take a look inside. I see a number of guards. We need to move quietly. What in the intruders? Alert Hastings guard detail. The intruders are here. Get his lordship to safety. This way. On my mark. Be prepared to cover me. <laughs> Deserted. A very ill omen. They must have fallen back to regroup. We might only have a small window of opportunity before they return. Now, the proof woman. As you wish. Now. Inspect the cargo. Look for any distinguishing marks on the crates. The crates we are looking for have the company's insignia on the sides. Found you. Here. This must be what we're looking for. Help me get this one down. Crowbar. <clears throat> Look, hard night. See the evil we both fight against. Vampires. It can't be. How? The half breeds are consolidating their power. With the protection of the Lycans in your land, Hastings and his vampire ilk are spreading disease throughout your Lord state. Hastings, he can't be one of them. Many have witnessed in Whitechapel your noble lord roaming the streets late at night, preying on downtrodden women. The Ripper Gangs. That is what you call them. How do you think the murderer still continues to evade Commissioner Doyle's dragnet? Whitechapel has become the kindred's feeding ground. How many more of these are there? Enough to affect a city.
Assist me to get up there. Yeah. <sighs> Let me look for something to help you up. All right. There's a ladder here. Let's move on to the rest. Very well. Go! Take care of the remaining cargo. I'll deal with this time. to see you again, daughter. How did you find us? There's no time. The company's forces are gathering at the shipyard. We must flee. Knight, did not tempt fate. A work here is done. <sighs> this horror must be made known to the Council. Tread carefully, Knight. 
The company could not succeed without powerful friends in the government. You saw on the docks how your own ranks have been infiltrated. If it is as you say, then surely I would The have war has turned against the half-breeds. They are now using the United India Company to spread terror throughout the world. You must help us. I'm a knight. Sworn to protect the realm, not bring it crashing down. Then you must trust no one. Fare you well, knight. But only we could have met on different circumstances. Where shall I find you? Whisper my name in Whitechapel, and I will be there. Gray, what in the world is going on? Not now, is he? Don't walk away from me. I saw you at Whitechapel. You followed me? I was worried about you. You fled like a madman after the battle on the bridge. You know nothing. Less than nothing. Is this some kind of clandestine infiltration? Is that what you're up to? This isn't the time. Grey, what's happened to you? No. Ever since Mallory was killed, I look at you and... No. What? What do you see? I don't know. A stranger. Someone I'm not sure I can trust anymore. Whatever it is... God's sake, tell me. Not this time, is he? And you do well to stay clear of me. For your own good. <clears throat> you! Find General Lafayette and summon him to the library. Conspiracy runs to the very heart of the Council. This allegation is monstrous! I refuse to believe it. If the Lord Chancellor will permit me, I can I will not permit! And you will say nothing more of these ridiculous suspicions. All the years I've known your father, never have I seen him so obstinate. Your allegations strike at the very heart of the Empire. I fear he cannot sustain another blow as great as the loss of Mallory. All he need do is journey to Blackwall Yard. For what evidence? The destruction was total. A clear case of arson, according to Commissioner Doyle. Apparently, a small group of rebels was seen on the docks. It was all rather... What is the word the Commissioner is so fond of? Oh yes, elementary. Now what do you think? I have no opinion. Should you wish, I can attempt to persuade the Lord Chancellor to put the matter before the Council. If it is true that we have a traitor in our midst, word well, is bound to get back to the conspirators. What do you propose? Breach the walls of the United India House under cover of night. Any information that will shed light on the events of the last few days must surely be found there. Trespass on the company's headquarters. You are cut from the same cloth as Mallory. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. Oh. I would have your assistance, Alistair. I hardly think it proper for the Knight Commander to be you seen... You know the lay of the land. I will need your guidance to navigate the grounds of the United India House. If a conspiracy is to be revealed, your testimony will carry weight with your father. Very well. The two of us alone will not suffice to infiltrate the compound. If what you say is true, there are precious few we can trust. My sister, Lafayette. I cannot involve them until I have more evidence. Then who? I might know just the person who can help us. I thank you, brother. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned.
back entrance to the compound. You could say that. Is everything in place? As discussed, ordinances on the table, rooftop accesses to the bedroom. You've done well, Francis. At your service, sir. Crossbow. Brings back memories. Ancient ones of that. Thought it best we stay silent on this mission. Mm. Let's get going. Compound is patrolled all through the night. Guards man all entrances. What's the incursion point? The gardens. Should provide us enough cover to move in unnoticed. Follow me. We should head to the rooftops. <clears throat> Francis' intelligence does pan out. A trustworthy man, it seems. Not really. He has a debt to repay. Failure to deliver on his word would prove most unpleasant to him. We need to find a safe anchor point in the garden to secure the rope to. Quite a dramatic entrance you've planned. Well, that may be, but we should be able to enter the grounds unseen and unheard. Gazebo seems to fit the parameters. Good. Let's deploy the line. Done. Alistair, I need you to stay here and spot my path. Once I'm clear, I'll give you the go-ahead to enter. Very well. Uh, do be careful. My sister wouldn't forgive me if I were to return alone. What she doesn't know cannot hurt her.
What's next? Clear the west wing. I'll move through the east. It would be wise to have the communicator from here on. Good point. Yeah. Let's rendezvous inside. <laughs> My gallant knight. It seems I came just in time. I suppose so. Though it would not be in my nature to let a god get the better of me. Did you come alone? Devin and Finley are with me. They're taking care of the rest of the guards and you. I could not risk involving my squad, but there is one more with me. And you trust this person? Yes. With my life. Very well. What now? We will meet him inside and proceed to the archives room. Let's go. They're over here. Rani, we found a way in. Once in place, we can use the stagecoach to climb the balcony. Night. Help us push this into place. you to stay. Rani, I need to be by your side. You always are, child. What of him and his accomplice? Heed my advice. Do you not know how dear you are to me? Then why do you push me away? Because I need you to continue the cause if something happened to me. Do not say that. Debbie, though you may not trust me, know that I will protect your queen in your stead. I owe her knew that much. See that you do. You do not want to get on the bad side of that one. Look and hold your fire! This is Lakshmi Bai. The leader of the rebellion. She is your confederate. Have you taken leave of your senses, man? I might ask the same question. If I didn't know you any better, I'd think you'd led me into a rebel ambush. As I might fear an arrest. We do not have time for this. We need his help, and she is the only one I could turn to. This is madness. You're putting the very core of our order in jeopardy. Alistair, you have to trust me. You asked that we find proof. She was with me in Blackwall. She witnessed what I found there. You mean to tell me that she helped you destroy the United India Company docks? My father was right. That was an act of pure terrorism. She used you. She brought this conspiracy to my attention. And if we're to see it through, her help is invaluable. And what if you're wrong? Then she and I will answer for our actions. And suffer the consequences. As Mallory did. see you on the wrong side of this mess. Neither would I, brother. There they are, far end of the lobby. I'm being suppressed. We need cover fire. Oh, oh, fire. Small guards coming in on the far end. I'm reloading. Take cover!
Clear! Let's move. The archive's room is this way. Through here, across the courtyard balcony. Ready? The archives room is just ahead. Search the archives for manifests, bills of lading, requisition orders. Anything that might link the company to the half-breed shipments. How are we supposed to look through all this? Keep it down, Finley. Just don't go off the research. Knight! Over here! You will want to see this. These are shipments that were sent to my homeland. If this log is to be believed, the company now has a foothold in every Indian state. Yeah, the Agamemnon shipment, destined for the eastern coast of the Americas. And three more shipments planned along the same route. RMS Oceanic is next. It set sail in six weeks. Where's Finley? Do you believe me now? He is the one behind all this. The Whitechapel killings. The half-breed scourge. United India. All you. Jacob Van Neck. Or as the Fleet Street pamphleteers have so fondly named me, Jack the Ripper. At your service. I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. You. Quite fortuitous, wouldn't you say, Sir Galahad? The rebel leader captured. And a traitor revealed. All in one fell swoop. The traitor being you, regrettably. Alistair. How could you? Forgive me, brother. I have to look to my own kind above all. Your kind? Run! Ah! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Knight, this is command. We have confirmation of multiple intruders at the United India House. The Metropolitan Police has been ordered to remain on standby. <coughs> <coughs> Stay where you are. Wait, I can I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. Yes, Sir Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. Izzy, listen to me. You're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. Your intervention was truly fortuitous. We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. The prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. More than this, he has conspired with godless rebels. Adding to his litany of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our esteemed Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor. A man without honor or scruple. I ask the Council to impose the supreme penalty. I beg the Council's indulgence. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Perhaps our brother Knight can be saved. And once more put onto the righteous path. The Knight Commander shows too much leniency. The proof against the traitor is... Irrefutable. I saw Sir Galahad in the company of the rebel leader. I was too far away to hear them clearly, but they seemed on familiar terms. They were leaving an establishment known to harbor rebels. Sir Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. Bring in Lord Hastings. Lord Hastings, you have identified the prisoner as your assailant? Sir Galahad infiltrated our headquarters late night. Accompanied by the rebel leader and her followers. I could not be sure that the man I was following was Sir Galahad until... I found his coat. Discarded near the rebel hideout. 
As his commander, I tried to dissuade him from pursuing his allegations. It is now clear he did not heed my advice. They incapacitated several of my guards and entered my chambers, intent on killing me. We found Lord Hastings wounded by the prisoner's hand. He must stand condemned by his own actions. Honored knights, how do you find for the prisoner? Guilty. 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 Gently, my friend. Will he survive? That is for him to decide. Two days. It has already been two days. We cannot leave him here like this. I have done what I can. It is not for me to protect him now. I will call upon him if he lives through this ordeal. My friend. My friend. You must stay with us. 
Sir Galahad! Sir Galahad! Here, Lady Lakshmi. You were right to bring me here, Nicola. There's not much more I can do. All of London is looking for him. So they are. We will take care of him. Time will tell if he will make it through. Do not be a fool, Nicola. I do not have a choice. If I am gone too long, they will suspect something. What if they already know? You have helped enough. Let us handle matters from now on. There is still so much for me to do, Lady Lakshmi. Please, take care of him. I fear that without him, we do not stand a chance. You're not one to give up so easily. Where am I? You're at a safe house on the embankment. You've been in and out of consciousness for almost a fortnight. But come, we must make our way back to Whitechapel. The authorities are searching for you everywhere. How did you find me? You must thank Nicola. He brought you here and sought my help. Nicola, how do you know Nicola? I will let him explain his involvement in our affairs. Nicola left you these. He thought you would appreciate them. Come, let's go. Lux Lakshmi, the Blackwater. How did you come about it? It was bestowed on me. You mean to say, a knight? Sir Bors de Ganis. Sir Bors has not been seen since the search for the Grail. You say he lives in East India. I did not say he lived, knight. Whitechapel is this way. Lady Agrain, there is evidence of a few people having been here. Sir Galahad must have had help. Get word to the council that we have tracked the convict. Tell every able knight to converge towards Whitechapel. Yes, my lady. God be my witness. I will see to the end of the rebellion. Everyone, leave! Now! 
We need to leave. It is only a matter of time until the authorities raid Whitechapel and make prisoners of every man and woman. Salvage what you can and go. I have unfinished business at the palace. Have you lost your senses? The palace is the last place you should show yourself. I have to get Nicola out of there. I owe him that much. Alistair knows you. He'll expect you to come. I know. Then we will go together. No. This is a fight that I must see through, alone. If I live to see tomorrow, I shall find you. So be it, Knight. Do you not know? I am a knight no longer. A knight you are not, monsieur. But are you a turncoat or a patriot? What would you have me be, Marquis? I believe you have reason for what you do. Two revolutions have taught Lafayette that there are dangers on both sides. I will not forget this, Marquis. See that you do not, Monsieur. Should you threaten the cause of liberty, you can count on Lafayette to be your sworn enemy. Adieu, monsieur. Until we meet again. That we will, my friend. Leaving us so soon? So you do remember my name? There is much I should explain to you, and I should have trusted you long ago. There's no time for pleasantries. It seems you are eager to get yourself killed. I must make this right, whatever the cost. Then take this. Oh, and do come back in one piece. It seems my queen has taken a liking to you. Nicola, come in. I'm in the catacombs, on my way to you. Sir Galahad, are you mad? You must not come this way. Stay put. I'll be there shortly. Lakshmi was right. He knew. I'll get you out of here. Come on. He's still in there. Oh, it's too late. There's nothing we can do. There's still something I must do. Stop! 
I knew you would return, brother. Come out of the shadows, damn you! You and I, we are not that different. I do what I must to protect my kind. We fight only for our right to live. That's a lie! One day, perhaps, you will understand. Forgive me, Grayson. This is not the outcome I sought. I've lived too long to not know this day would come. Why, Alistair? You have forced us outside all these years. I've seen things I am condemned to remember. Civilizations born and destroyed by humanity's incessant greed. The pride of men <coughs> slaughtering each other 
In the name of their so-called God, we will atone for our sins in time. But how can you justify the atrocities your kind have committed? My kind... My kind are no more evil than yours. What of your sister? Your father? Was it all a lie? Is he? My father... I loved them as my own blood. But they cannot begin to know the curse I have lived with. My son. Father. Forgive me. Anna, it is I who needs your forgiveness. I never meant this life for you. You knew. I have always known. I rescued him from the massacre of his family. Your father died by my sword. But a child? You didn't deserve such a fate. How could I have taken the life of an innocent? Confess this to the Council, Lord Chancellor. It is the only way to make amends for the havoc that has been unleashed. I cannot! The revelation? would shake our order to its very foundations. So I am to be sacrificed. How many more must die to ensure an eternal silence? He is my son. I cannot be the one to end his life. Sir Galahad, the whole of London is looking for you. We mustn't delay. Sir Galahad, can you hear me? Sir Galahad. Be at ease, Nicola. All is fine. So you say, my friends. The council has declared martial law throughout the city. There is no telling when the authorities will decide to mount an offensive. Now is not the time for heroics. I would advise we follow Lady Lakshmi's lead and leave the city. I'll join you shortly. And don't you know, I'm Galahad no more. <laughs> 